Hello there. So today we are discussing the types of pneumonia because well we know pneumonia is quite a common and dangerous disorder of our respiratory tract and usually any infection of the respiratory tract can complicate to become pneumonia. But before that what exactly is pneumonia? By definition pneumonia is the inflammation of the lung parenchyma and what this actually means is that there is inflammation of the air sacs or what we call as the alveoli and they become filled with fluid due to this swelling. Since alveoli is actually the point where a gas exchange takes place, when it becomes filled with fluid, the person feels breathless as the air enters the respiratory tract but is not being used. Now this pathology almost remains the same for all types of pneumonia. But pneumonia have been classified majorly with its causes. Because if they are prevented or if the cause is known, then the infective organism can be predicted and also the treatment can be started accordingly with all the extra precautions. So coming to the types of pneumonia, pneumonia is broadly classified into four main types. Community acquired pneumonia, hospital acquired pneumonia, aspiration pneumonia and ventilator associated pneumonia. Community acquired pneumonia occurs in the community due to the microorganisms present in the air or locality. It basically means that the organism entered your body from the environment and caused pneumonia. The hospital acquired pneumonia on the other hand is the pneumonia which occurs due to hospitalization. In the sense, due to some factors present in the hospital, the person gets infected with the microorganism which causes the problem. A simple example of this would be when a person with cardiac condition without any respiratory infection gets exposed to COVID droplets of another patient or healthcare worker or when a patient undergoes bronchoscopy and suddenly develops pneumonia. Now you may wonder as to how you can know for sure whether the pneumonia of the patient is community acquired or hospital acquired. Well, for that, a simple criteria that is used clinically worldwide is the timing of when the pneumonia occurred. If pneumonia develops within 72 hours of hospitalization, then it is considered as community acquired pneumonia. And if it occurs after 72 hours of hospitalization, then it is considered as hospital acquired pneumonia. Let's now move on to the next two pneumonias though they are sometimes associated with hospital acquired pneumonia. Aspiration pneumonia as the name suggests occurs as a result of aspiration of the stomach content into the respiratory tract. Food particles enters the lungs and attracts microorganisms causing pneumonia. Aspiration may occur at home or in hospital setting but the treatment of both remains the same. Lastly, coming to ventilator associated pneumonia, it is the pneumonia that result due to the patient being put on a mechanical ventilator, a device that assists in breathing in patients who cannot do so effectively. Now to place a patient on mechanical ventilator, an endotracheal tube is passed through the mouth into the trachea. When pneumonia occurs after 48 hours of intubation of patient with endotracheal tube, it is termed as ventilator associated pneumonia. So this was some basic types of pneumonia and how they are differentiated clinically. A detailed video on pneumonia will be uploaded soon. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for more such videos and see you soon.